Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do a week ahead. So I'm going to see what I can do, how many I can pump out. This is going to be for the week of November 11th through the 17th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to use the Vice Versa Tarot deck. There's stuff on both sides. <coughs> Romance Angels. Energy Oracle. We're going to see what comes up for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November 11th through the 17th. Dear God, Angels, Spirits, and Universe, what can we expect for the week of the 11th to the 17th? So we have a couple so far. Oh, well, this looks real good. We have the Queen of Cups versus the Queen of Swords. So we could have a couple of people. This, these people could be, they could be competitors. Okay, they could, they're, they're pretty different. They're definitely two different people. So Taurus, you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a water sign. One of the, You could be taking on one of these energies, or you could be taking on either of these energies. If you are a male watching this, you may have a choice between two. You may have a choice between two people. One of these people has a really, really, really big heart. One of these person is probably a little bit more exciting. You, you're probably going to have to make a choice. Uh, one of them is very emotional and tender and loving and caring and kind and compassionate and is looking for love. This person is really looking for love. And one of these other people is very, um, this person is a force to be reckoned with. She is very powerful. She knows that she is powerful. She stands in her power. She sits in her power. She doesn't really like to give away her power. Um, you know, it's like that song, Desperado. I just came to mind. Uh, the Queen of... Don't, don't you choose the Queen of Diamonds. The, don't you know the Queen of Hearts is always your best bet. The Queen of Diamonds would be the Queen of Wands, I do believe. Um, is she'll beat you if she's able. The queen of hearts, she's about love. She, she's not out to beat you. She's about to love you. So be careful. Um, now if you are the female watching this, you probably have to, you may be taking on both of these energies. You may have a really, really, really big heart. You're looking for love, but you are a force to be reckoned with, and you could be intimidating if, you're, if you are this one woman that's taking on both of these energies. We could also have two people here. This could be a female-female relationship, okay? We have one female that is a water sign, one is a fire sign, but this is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, you know, even Taurus, Virgo... Did I say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Taurus. This is for Taurus. Even though you're a Taurus, you can you we all embody these energies. So um, there could be two women coming together to work together during this time. Perhaps these two women are going to work together. Could go so many ways. Um, This person expresses love. This person is, if you kind of look at her face, this person is, she's just gentle and, you know, at ease. And she just, her, her whole aura is a whole lot different than this one. This one's like, I know it all. So we kind of have a I know it all versus a lover. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed or with her back turned. This one, she's 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 a fighter. She is absolutely a fighter. She is very calculating. She may not want to tell anybody what is going on. She's keeping to herself. This fire sign is pretending she doesn't see anything. This water sign has her eyes wide open. She's open. This one right here is, uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I'd rather just be in my own little world. 
So we got somebody here that just wants to be in their own little world. We got somebody here who just wants to be loved. And then we got this Queen of Swords here who is, she may be the, be the deciding factor. This could be a lawyer. I don't know who this is. But the, but the Magician card is about taking action to bring success. Looks to me as though this Magician is... He's calling in something. He's manifesting something. He's doing something right now to create. And this is very creative. Somebody is creating something. Ooh, nine of wands. This, it's like, <laughs> I always love this card. You make sure that this is focused. Nine of wands right here in the middle, Taurus. Looks like you got somebody arriving, right? Somebody is arriving and you have your guard up, right? You're like, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? Don't come near me. So it looks like we have somebody here that has come to rescue you. And you don't need rescuing. You may feel like you don't want to be rescued. We do have this Queen of Swords here, which this person doesn't isn't looking for love. I don't want no love. That's the truth. You'd be better off with one of these if you're trying to get the... the don't try and save me. So you may be in that mindset, Taurus. Don't try to save me. I'd rather just be on my own. Please don't try to save me. We could we could say say it this way, just this came to me, we could have a masculine here that has three options. He's trying to save one of these people. This one doesn't want it. One of them does. The other one You know, I don't know. This other one is may have a chip on their shoulder. That's what I see in this card. This person has a chip on their shoulder. So we could have somebody here that has a chip on her shoulder. Then we have this person that is available for love. And this person is just a... I'm not interested for even one second. So um, it looks as though, Taurus, if you are the male, you have three options. If you are trying to save the one that is bitter, I suggest you uh, head in another direction. Okay? Head in another direction. Head towards the one that... Uh, is uh, more open, okay? Head towards that one because the one that it appears that you're trying to save somebody who doesn't want to be saved. So for the Taurus females here, I feel like you, I feel like you may have manifested a couple of options yourself. Maybe you're taking on all kinds of different energies. Maybe you've manifested somebody into your life. You didn't even really ask for it. Maybe you did it subconsciously. You're standing in, I mean, you've got all kinds of energy here. If you're the female watching this, you're very powerful. Everybody can feel your power. They are probably intimidated by you, even though they know you have a big heart. I feel like you are have, you're going to have somebody that basically comes and knocks on your door, and they want you to give them another chance. If they're not knocking on your door, you could meet them somewhere. You could meet them out at some place or whatever. And they want you to give them another chance. And you'll be like, are you kidding me? Or, you know, I thought I told you I wasn't interested. Or something like that. Um, what do we got? This is for the 11th to the 17th. The devil. Oh boy, you might be very, very, very tempted by this person. Very tempted. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Gemini. We got everybody here. It doesn't matter. But you are going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted to let this person in. You may have a real trickster that is coming your way. Okay, they may, they may think that they can pull the wool over your eyes. Just be really careful. You may have a trickster. <laughs> amongst you. I just got to be honest. Four of Pentacles. So this is this 
this is somebody that is very uh, somebody may want to hold on to you maybe they see that you don't want them maybe they see that you have survived without them you know how that's how it goes when you don't need me anymore that's when they want you you know it feels like there is somebody that is going to uh, come ask you for some sort of forgiveness which is crazy that's what I feel like this is it's like this person doesn't want to let you go but I do feel I do feel as though you have another opportunity you have choices this week Taurus we have the lovers card okay so I think that you guys have a choice an unexpected choice in love you have to make some sort of decision and this decision uh, is going to well this choice per se is going to be very attractive to you I think that you are going to be very seduced by whatever happens this week it's like uh, there is some uh, divinely guided connection that shows up on your doorstep or right in front of you or whatever the case is it doesn't have to be your doorstep per se it shows up in front of you and you have a choice to take it or leave it this is an unexpected union and I think it's somebody that you are soulfully connected to because of this card right here um, there could have been another woman, if this is some sort of reconciliation, there could have been another woman that got in the way, okay? This other woman um, is selfish, and I feel as though she, definitely, definitely, and I feel like somebody may want another chance now, they may see something differently, they may be coming, but you got to be careful because they may have there's some tricks up their sleeve, Let's get two of these. One of these for Taurus. Be careful because you're all is not as it seems with the devil card. It's like somebody is going to come and they may want you to let them in. They may want you to let them in. And you know better. Do not let them in. You know better. Don't let them in. I think they have tricks up their sleeve. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you do have a new love with that lover's card. Make sure that you don't go back to wherever it is that you've been. Because I feel like there is somebody that... <clears throat> I feel like there's somebody that has hurt you that is going to want you to give them a chance. But I also feel like you have an opportunity. This is a choice between two. Okay, it is. That's what the lover's card is. So you do have a choice between two. You can choose to go back to somebody that hurt you, or you can choose to go, go forward with new love. You do have an opportunity for new love this week, Taurus. It'll be your choice as to whether you want to take it. This is a card of love heals as well. So there's an opportunity to heal with whoever this person is whether it's the new love or the old love there's a healing love here um, one more card please I think Taurus you're just sitting you're just not even wanting anybody you're not looking for anybody you're doing your own thing you're focused on something else you've learned to survive and all of a sudden somebody shows up and it's either whether it's somebody that you already know or not Somebody shows up and you're like, where the hell did you come from? Come on now. I'm good. I don't need anybody. But they are going to be very attractive to you with the lover's card and the devil card. You're probably going to be like, <laughs> okay, well, you look good. Maybe. Anyhow.
Uh oh. The garden in the gate. She's waiting. We have somebody here that's been waiting for an arrival. Can't go through that gate without my soulmate. Can't go. Just waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. But it looks like I think the waiting is almost over. I think that I think that whoever she's waiting for is about to show up. And she probably doesn't even know. She's probably just like, is it is he is is are they ever gonna get here? When are they coming? When are they coming? They're coming. They're like right around the freaking corner. So Taurus, I think for this week of November 11th through the 17th, you have an unexpected arrival that is going to tempt you. It's going to tempt you in a very, very big way. You're going to be highly attracted to whatever this is. Um... My advice is to be careful because with that devil card, all is not as it seems. Be very, very, very careful. Good luck.